One thing I think leaders don't consider often enough is their organizational culture. And when I established Diamond Six and we thought about that in advance, that's one of the reasons why I, can, I selected awareness as one of the values I wanted us to stress. I wanted it out there to remind me and my team that periodically we had to reflect on ourselves, the team, the culture of the organization, which in essence is inextricably linked to our mission, our vision, and our values. Who we are, where we're going, and what we're all about. Why is culture important? Well, culture, of course, is the values and beliefs that underpin everything that an organization does and its identity. It further is all part of, of the implicit assumptions held by the members of that organization, how we perceive things, how we react to problems, and how we conduct ourselves. And as leaders, why do we care? Well, strategically, we know that organizational culture, as somebody said once time, eats strategy for lunch every single day. And if you don't consider that, the best laid plans can be awry because they'll violate organizational culture and norms. But in essence, we have to examine ourselves and be self-aware to ensure, in particular, the values that we espouse as an organization are congruent with the actual values that we're conducting ourselves about, and that those two things stay the same. A very famous uh, organizational theorist by the name of Edgar Schein once said, in fact, that one of the most important things leaders do is create culture, manage organizational culture, and if necessary, destroy organizational culture. So let's take those three things quickly in turn. Creating culture, obviously key for somebody creating a new organization. And there's a lot of entrepreneurialism in America, and it's a very busy time for those young leaders who are trying to get an organization off and running, whether it's for-profit or not-for-profit. And solving day-to-day -day problems, I think sometimes they need to stop, sit down, and reflect. What is our mission, vision, and values? What is our culture, and are we living up to it? And do that periodically as they're rapidly trying to create something. Second of all, of course, manage culture. And this oftentimes has to be a reflection of has our environment changed? A key example, of course, is when organizations merge. And in fact, most mergers fail, and they fail why? Because we have not been able to manage and bring these two cultures together as these organizations are trying to uh, conduct a, a merger. And last but not least, destroying culture. When is that appropriate? Well, it's very important for us to be very conscious about this and understand as a leader a couple things. One is we used to say in the military when I was an officer, an officer is always on parade and the leader of organization is the same. How he or she actually conducts themselves in the workplace will establish a lot of assumptions and the reality of the enacted culture of the organization. As a leader, for example, if you allow people to tell off-color jokes, use bad language, treat each other inappropriately, put up inappropriate posters perhaps in the workplace, if you allow that to occur, it'll quickly be assumed that that's what we're all about and it's okay within our values and our culture. So very quickly, you need to make sure that that doesn't occur and we stay true to our values. Secondarily, if we have someone, even if they're a very, very critical member of the team perhaps, who egregiously violates the values of the organization, we have to make a critical call. And it may be necessary, quite frankly, that that person departs the organization. Because if not, if we retain them, then we're, still, we're sending a very clear message to the rest of the team that our values that we espouse really don't mean a great deal because we're not willing to live up to them. What you'll find over time is it'll be to the betterment of the overall health of the organization, and you'll quickly find someone that can fill that space, even though it might have seemed to be critical at that moment.